enough reports that we're off to a very good start on where we should be at this point in the investigation. So two, two, two more questions. You mentioned question like a plane hit a concrete utility pole. Is it one of these poles that's this on the Yes, it is. And, and so you see the, um, the Millican plant, and there's two orange balls. There's actually three orange balls. The, the pole that it hit was the one that's the furthest to the left of those three orange balls. So what it really hit was, and, and we want to get up there and, and see any witness marks, but what it really hit, because there's pieces of the insulators, you know how utility poles have insulators, there's pieces of those ceramic insulators that are scattered throughout the woods. I was walking the debris path and every few feet, there's just a chunk of ceramic insulator. So the point is though, it did have enough force to literally shear off the left wing in, in its entirety. So one last Just question. to follow up quickly on that, you said that the pole's made of concrete, is that correct? I'm sorry? You said it was a concrete pole? It's a concrete pole, a cast concrete pole. Does that count as a question? That's what about the video? video? You said okay. the video. Right. So, so that counts as the last question, but, but I'll tell you what we will do. We will keep you posted on what's going on, and Terry Williams, our public affairs officer, Terry's going to come up and make an announcement. We don't have any more briefings scheduled for today, but you can go to our website at www.ntsb.gov, and we will um, put out advisories. Also, um, you can follow us on Twitter also, and we will announce our next briefing. It'll be sometime tomorrow morning. Thank you very much.